I mean, you got so many coming out of out of the ears with 2023 with with quarterback. You know, of course, Arch Manning and Eli Holstein. You know, all the all the questions about where they're headed and all that stuff. But then you got just an absolute list. Jaden Rashada is someone I think who has a lot of potential with with coming to LSU. There's a lot of interest with him. Uh, five star. I, I, Car, what do you think about Rashada and, and w- with him and LSU and his recruitment there? Yeah, so he's going to take an official uh, here in a week. You know, he's going uh, to quite a few places. He's going to Texas a and first and then LSU right after that. He has LSU in his top seven. You know, obviously you always want to be that last official visit, and he's going to be making a few more officials after uh, this one that he's coming up. Uh, to with LSU so I I still think it's a relative long shot that they land this young man and uh, we'll see what happens he's obviously really special Mark he's got um, a lot of arm and if you just go watch his highlight tape he really drops dimes into really tight spaces so he is a daring thrower he's an ambitious thrower played in a really good offense Um, and look Florida's after him Miami's after him and Cal's after him and What's very interesting now is, is these conferences and these quarterbacks are, are getting so good, especially in the SEC, where you know all these schools, even the bottom half SEC schools, have not only really good quarterbacks, they have really good offensive staffs overall. So uh, we'll see. You know, Florida is really the only other SEC school that's in the running for this guy, and you know, Texas A&M is also in the mix here. So. We'll see what happens, but for me, it's still a long shot. But I love him. I would like to. I would like to see it happen. What, what about Dante Moore? Do you, do you? How highly do you rate Dante Moore? I, I love what I see from Moore. I think we we had a great, huge uh, spring game visit with him, where he's hanging out with Tyron Matthews, hanging out with Joe Burrow, he's hanging out with all those guys, he's hanging out with current Tigers. I, I out of MLK High up there in Detroit. I really think there was an impression made on him when they were on Notre Dame staff, Brian Kelly, now transitioning over here. He's seeing the whole package put together. Where do you see, Carter, Dante Moore possibly becoming an LSU Tiger? I I, I feel very positive about that. I feel there's some positive movement going there. Yeah, you know, anytime you get to take a photo with Joe Burrow. And what's really interesting (laughs) about the the photo with Joe Burrow was that was like – during the early portions of like Joe Burrow's visit. Right. So that was like the, I think if my memory serves me correctly, that was the first Joe Burrow photo that leaked that he was in Baton Rouge. I'm sure there were some other ones, but that was a big one right there. And anytime you get to take a photo with a guy who almost won a Super Bowl is just huge for recruiting. So it's, uh, it's, it's very interesting. Like, you know, Notre Dame is centering so much of their class around this guy. Right. Yes. You know, we, I, I have a bunch of Notre Damers that that watch my channel and two of them actually have Dante Moore as their profile photo. Right. <laughs> and and this is a guy who, who, who might go to Michigan. He might go to LSU. So, yeah, yeah I mean, Mark, you're, you I mean, you're right on about, you know, just quarterbacks in general. And, and you are too, Lon. I mean, you got to get one. Right. A lot of people feel that way, that you have to get one in every class. And if you're LSU, you can always you know, make a stronger push for Ricky Collins, a four-star out of Woodlawn in, in Louisiana. So, you know, for me, as far as Dante Moore's recruitment is concerned, I I do think it's going to be hard to get him from uh, away from the Midwest, but I still do see LSU right in the thick of it. Reese Mooney. Reese Mooney out of Denham Springs, you know, another local talent. This is, this is a quarterback who even I, uh, I, I feel guilty of overlooking Carter. Right. I feel like Reese Mooney, three star. I I don't feel like that cuts it. I feel like he's better than a three star. I think he's really, really another great Louisiana quarterback in 2023, Mark. Have you checked out Reese Mooney yet, Mark? Very good. No. You got you got to check out. I got enough college games. football I need to watch. Huh? Huh? Yes, huh? exactly. Of <laughs> course, guys, of course, of course. I'm not the recruiting guy. You of know, course, I, 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 by osmosis, soak it up from you guys, and I got to keep up with it to a certain extent, but that's why I bring you guys on. 